Alright, so let's get going with Pokemon Blue version. This is our next LP. So, um, let's go with option. Hmm. Probably fast. Cancel. Let's start our new adventure. Hello there, and welcome to the Pokemon world. To the world of, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Hope. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets and others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? We're gonna be called Red, because Red is the main protagonist of the first uh, Pokemon games. The reason why I didn't want to play Pokemon Yellow is because we pretty much play as Ash. Right, so your name is Red. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? His name will be Blue. Wow, you don't even know your own grandson name? Um, sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I uh, just recovered from a cold, so that's why. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. Red? Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits you. Let's go. And we start off in our room with a console. Is it yes? Hmm. Let's check our PC. Now this gimmick. I probably you, I don't have to explain it, but just in case, this is where we store our Pokemons. You are gonna have six Pokemons in your party. The rest is in the PC. And look at this. We get a potion. A potion can heal your Pokemon by 20 HP. So um, this does the stats of Pokemons are a bit different. Did I just? Did I? Uh. I toss it. Whoops. Anyways, um, the stats of Pokemon's are gonna be available to explain it in a little bit. Right, all boys leave home someday. It says so on the, on the TV. Professor Oak's next door is looking for you. Um, so let's go and see. Actually, let's go and see. Hmm. Let's go see Porto Professor Oak. Yo, Red Grams isn't around. Hmm. I study Pokemon po as Professor as eight. Hmm. He's the authority on Pokemon, Professor Oak. Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in a high regard. What? I study Pokemon as a professor at Oak 8. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items in Pokemon as a data via PC. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait, don't go out. It's insane while Pokemon leave into Tokyo. You need your own Pokemon for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me. Where were you? Five seconds ago. Hmm. Gramps, I, I'm feed up with waiting. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Red. There are three Pokemons here. Aha! They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old days, 
In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Hey, Grams, what about me? Be patient, Blue. You can have one too. Okay, so our starters. It is... Charmander. Obviously prefer hot places when rain steam. It says to spot from the tip of its tail. So you want a fire Pokemon? Charmander? No. So Charmander, um, it is a really cool Pokemon. He's um, Pokemon have six stats. It has HP, attack, special attack, special defense, defense, and speed. But in this game, instead of a special defense. And special attack, I believe it's called special. That combines both of them, I think. Um, I will explain a little bit more when we pick up our first starter. The second starter is Squirtle. Squirtle evolves into a uh, War Turtle and into Blastoise. Charmander, though, evolves into Charmeleon and Charizard. After birth, its back swells and hardens into shell. Powerful. Powerfully sprays foam from his mouth. Uh, no! <laughs> so, um, I will be explaining them in out of order, mainly because I just don't have, like, a strip. I wanted to explain it as much as possible, and I'm gonna be explaining first Bulbasaur, the PSR that I'm gonna choose now. The reason why I'm choosing Bulbasaur is not because he's the strongest out of the three, but because Venusaur is my favorite Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So you want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur? Yes. This Pokemon will be an Ajaric, Red Crazy Bulbasaur. Do you wanna give a nickname? Shall I? Mmm, sure. Let's call it Seed. Okay. I'll take this one then. Blue received Charmander. Alright. Wait, Red. Let's check it out. Our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Okay, so our first Pokemon battle, like I said. Um, in this game, there are physical and special attacks. F physical attacks um, are non viable in this generation. It's kind of weird, the mechanic, but I will explain myself. For example, I think physical attacks are in contact with the Pokemon, like for example here, Tackle. And special attacks are like uh, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and all those the stuff. I'm not sure exactly how to explain it. And yeah. But mainly, the reason why I choose Bulbasaur is because, um, one, I like Venusaur. Um, so, Bulbasaur evolves into Ivysaur, level 16, and into Venusaur to level 36, I believe. And one of the uh, reasons why I choose it is because we gain, um, we gain a, a lot of, I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of weird, but mainly because I like it, but also because we win against um, the first two gym leaders, and although that's an advantage to us, I'll explain later um, why it doesn't matter which uh, Pokemon you choose. What? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Okay, I'll I'll make my Pokemon fight to start it up. Red Rams, smell you later. And as you know, your rival always chooses the one that is strongest 
uh, the new wars. So he chooses Charmander, and he is stronger against Bulbasaur, which he is um, a grass type. And I'm going to explain types in a bit. So Peachy, Peachy evolves into Pidgeot. Um, I can't remember what level, but it also evolves into Pidgeot. And a lot of people capture this Pokemon mainly because, um, well, it can fly. It's one of the earliest flying Pokemon that you can catch. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Beauty and City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. And yeah, like, in this route, um, only Rattata's MPG appear. Rattata evolves into, um, Raticate, and he's more physical attack on oriented. Um, same as PG. although, I don't know, I don't know how, how I can explain this, but let's check on the attacks, alright? Let's see. Stats. So as you can see, my Bulbasaur has attack, defense, speed, and special. Attack is for physical attack, obviously, like tackle, earthquake, and attacks that I believe that makes contact with other Pokemons. Defense is uh, defends you from uh, defends you from physical attacks. Speed is um, defined by which Pokemon actually attacks first, so for example if my Bulbasaur is faster than that PG that we fought already, he will attack first, but if the PG has more speed, he will attack first then. Special, special and in this game as far as I know, it combines the stats for special attack and special defense, so I think it actually combines attack like um, Giga Drain, um, Thunderbolt, stuff like a projectile kind of space, I believe. But not all projectiles are special attack oriented, so I'm gonna keep looking towards and see how can I explain it a little bit better. A special defense obviously will protect you from uh, special uh, special attacks. And yeah, there's not that much to say right here. Um, one thing to notice that Rattata is one of... he's not a strong walking room per se, but one of the attacks that I actually like in Rattata's arsenal... Hey, you came from Palatown. You know Professor Oak, right? This order came in while you take it to him. Um, let's see. No potions are also allowed. Hmm. This shop sells many antidotes. And high end honestly, one of the attacks that Rakita has that I really really like is Hyperfang. Hyperfang is a super strong attack and I didn't even know at first but it's actually really powerful. Um that's one of his most noticeable moves. And for PG, I believe is Wing Attack and also Swift. Swift is an attack that that doesn't miss at all. So it's kinda like Aerolace in uh, later Pokemon games. I know my explanations are all over the place. I'm sorry for that. I'm just trying to explain uh, my knowledge. Not a lot. Um, oh, Red! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Rams! What did you call me for? Alright, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. 
can automatically record data on Pokemon you see or card. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Red and blue. Take this with you. Hmm. So now we have the Pokedex. We make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I cannot do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Good morning, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it to me. Red, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a tell map from my sis. I'll tell her not to let you on. Red, ha ha ha. Alright. So we will get the town map and and just check it. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Here, this will help you. My first playthrough of this game, I actually forgot about the town map. And after that I actually keep forgetting about the town map too. Anyways, um I'm gonna keep explaining about the starters, so focus are one of the most noticeable moves he has in Razor Leaf. And I believe what is no slam. Um also sleep powder is really good on him. Uh sleep powder what it does is actually put up other Pokemon to sleep. And let's go for Squirrel. Squirrel most noticeable moves are Surf. Surf well, let's you swim towards uh, other places in the water. Also has the ice beam, and I do believe has earthquake, maybe. And for Charizard, I know he has flamethrower, he has fire blast, and I believe he also has wind attack. Um, mainly, all three of them are. Special attack oriented, I think. And all of whatever uh, starter you choose is alright. You still can have six Pokemon in your party, anyways. I, all of you probably already know this. And so, with that being said, I think this is gonna be it for episode one. We started our adventure. We also saw two new Pokemons, Pidgey and Rattata, and we got Professor Oak's order. So, what is it for next time? Next time, we will continue and explore. Uh, let me check the name of the town. Viberian City. See you guys then.